Hi everyone, it's Stu here from 3B and I thought I would do a video on the settings that I have for the Q800, Samsung Q800T running the current latest version of the firmware 1497. Now, I believe that these settings will probably work quite well also for the Q700T, but in terms of the, 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 the more advanced models like the Q900 and so on, you would probably have to um, adjust them accordingly as a result. So first things first with my settings, I've had this TV for a few weeks now, and these are sort of the settings that I've, I've kind of fallen upon. Uh, I've been tweaking them over time with various inputs from uh, playing um, UHD 4K discs, um, Blu-rays, streaming on Netflix, um, Prime, uh, watching satellite TV from Sky, all kinds of uh, all kinds of uh, content that I've been viewing um, in terms of uh, TV and film, uh, and, and overall I've been very happy with this TV. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of sort of bad press with banding, the dirty screen effect. Um, now this TV isn't brand new. I got it as a uh, a graded stock, it was graded A stock, and it does have a small issue. Um, but I, I've, I, you know, just a few specs of um, what looks like um, dust during the manufacturing process, which you pretty much forget about are there. But anyway, I've done a video on that. I'll do another update on, on how all that has gone because a lot has happened since then. So look out for that video. But today we're looking at the settings. So um, first off, turn this off. Intelligence, intelligent mode settings. Turn them off. Just, just right off. <laughs> these, these are just ruin your picture. Um, then we go to uh, device manager. I tend to turn off any Net Plus HDMI CEC off. Um, Input signal plus set to all channels. And uh, so that's, that'll be that on that part. And then we go to picture, set it to filmmaker mode. And then we go to expert settings. And then brightness is at 39, contrast is at 43, sharpness is at zero, color at 20, tint at zero. It's applied to all sources picture clarity settings set to off, local dimming set to high, contrast enhancer set to off, film mode is off by default, color tone is warm too, uh, white balance is uh, two point, that's all sort of automatic, gamma 2.2, shadow plus one, color space settings set to auto, and that is about it. Um, I found these settings so far pleasing for me uh, on, on a variety of content in terms of video streaming, uh, Blu-rays, 4K Blu-rays, um, and anything from standard def to uh, HD and 4K and beyond. So those are the settings that I use. They will change um, and you can obviously use this as a starting point if you wish and uh, let me know your thoughts always very welcome uh, the current version that we're looking at in terms of software is 1497 and uh, next we'll be doing a settings for gaming so look out for that and also look out for the updates on this tv that i've done and in terms of where i bought it and how that went because there's been some uh, movement and changes and excitement and drama associated with all that and uh, yeah so like and subscribe don't forget to click the bell and I'll see you next time Bye.